Okay, shall we move on? Let's move on then. The worst TikTok trends. I love this thumbnail already. <laughs> I've seen you guys say in chat already that this thumbnail makes you f feel pain. Now, I don't usually feel pain from visual things that I'm seeing. But this one, it does, it does tingle me a bit. It does tingle me a bit. <laughs> Dentists around the country are horrified over a new TikTok trend. I hope every single one of them gets arrested. Just because people do things on social media. Oh boy, was Tidebot before or after TikTok? Mm, I think... Oh, Tidebot was not a TikTok challenge from what I know. Tidepods were not a TikTok challenge. But TikTok might have been in its early stages then. And no, you can only use one code. I'm predicting devious leaks in this. I'm... So challenges that I do remember... That are not TikTok challenges. Obviously the ice bucket challenge. The eating a spoonful of cinnamon ch challenge. Those are the two biggest ones that are ingrained in my brain. Now TikTok trends. I think one of the TikTok trends that goes back to the thumbnail. Is where you literally like grind out your teeth. Like your side teeth, your canines, I think. Uh. <coughs> Two girls, one cup challenge. What? Salt and ice? What's that? Did the cinnamon one? Holy shit, don't. Yeah, Doesn't really don't. You should. The things people do to get popular on the internet. Yeah. If you want to see. We watched a video recently that Sunny V2 made, like the no poop <laughs> July. Which I wouldn't really say that's a TikTok challenge. I wouldn't consider that one a challenge. That felt like more of a, a thing a guy did a little bit. Like I, I don't I don't feel like it has the viral standpoint of it being a challenge where so many people do it, you know? People doing ridiculous things for attention, then look no the further. Care challenge? Than I do not TikTok. know that one. There's absolutely no limit to the things TikTokers do for a few seconds of fame. Today, we'll look at some of the worst trends on TikTok. Personal challenge, but not a trend. Yeah. Trends to Sorry, I talked over the video. Personal challenge, but not a trend. Exactly that one, yes. Same. Today, we'll look at some of the worst trends on TikTok, starting from the lighter trends to ones that are just horrible eight. on visual venture eight and, and hope total. you guys like my new set i really enjoy his videos challenge. in june I... 2009 what huh <laughs> why is that a... something happened in a walmart in lufkin <laughs> what? texas that started it isn't licking ice cream normal <laughs> like one of the most huh? disgusting trends on tiktok a woman and her boyfriend were walking through the store when they stopped this was horrible the freezer. what as a lady stared at the shelves of ice cream in the freezer she got a brilliant idea she grabbed a tube of bluebells ice cream removed the lid and licked the top of the ice cream then while giggling she put it back as if nothing happened messing what? with the ice cream was already stupid but what they did next was even more dumb her boyfriend who had recorded her act up uploaded the video onto social media. It instantly blew up, raking in over Bro, uh, 12. Uh, uh, I am, I'm so picky when it comes to things I eat, man. Like I do, bro, spits is, spit is one of the most disgusting things to me. I hate spit, I hate spit. And the spit of a person, I do not know, of a stranger, all the bacteria, all the, <laughs> Brother, ew! Hawk to a yeah. 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 In just one yeah. Week. When you pick up some ice cream at the store, you're gonna think twice about this after you see this video is going yeah. crazy online right now. Also, I'm just gonna say a lot of the times when I buy like buckets of ice cream, they have like an a, a top it a, like an added top plastic layer that you have to peel off. Like, nowhere can you just open a top and eat the ice cream out of it. Nowhere. Like, nowhere here. Nowhere here. Nowhere here in Germany. Like, holy shit, man. Technically spitting is illegal in France. Well, damn. What the hell? Yes, we can, Ben and Jerry. You can't just open it. 
Like, it takes some more force to open it. I think it has, like, some shit around it, doesn't it? That you need to peel off before? Those people are rats in our society. And if you can, well, I guess that's because it's Ben and Jerry. And Ben and Jerry's American. So, my, my point stands, European ice cream has extra shit. Can't open stuff in San Diego easily. There's some plastic wrap on the lids. You're right, I forgot about the outer plastic. There we go, it did have outer plastic. There we go. I, I, I don't eat Ben & Jerry's here often. Because it's so fucking expensive, man. What kind of psychopathic behavior is this, wrote one person. I'm disgusted. This should be a criminal yeah. charge. Posted a charge! Another. Unfortunately, the Lufkin Walmart... Like, how is this no criminal charge? Because they literally, quote-unquote, damaged a product that they haven't bought yet. You know? Isn't that illegal? They didn't know which specific container she tampered with, so they threw away all their ice cream. Walmart was a- Bro, I hope... ...that they caught that early and that no one bought it. But most likely... ...most likely... ...someone bought this and ate, had eaten this, man. Upset, but no one was more upset than Bluebell, the ice cream company. Bluebell asked the police to find the woman and bring her to justice. They planned please, to me. charge her with food please, tampering, please, which please, could mean me. up to 20 years behind bars. That is, it is Surprisingly, illegal. some people didn't see her actions as wrong. Instead, they were inspired to copy her. There's a new concern, copycats. The following week, many TikTokers recorded themselves. I hope they at least bought it off there. Even though... Like, even though they put it back in there when they recorded it, I hope they bought it off there. Tampering with ice cream in stores and posted the videos to TikTok. They called it the ice cream licking challenge. This challenge was as unhygienic as it was ridiculous. Disgusting. But you know what else is ridiculous? Using a default browser that is slow and boring. If you're still using Opera Chrome, GX. Edge, or Safari, you're missing out. This Meet is the Opera, Opera GX. GX. There it is. So I know a lot of people personally that use this browser in real life. And I know like a good portion of you guys there already it is. do too. But for those of you who still don't, Opera GX has a ton of customization options. Want background music while you work? Done. You can customize the okay. theme and colors of your browser to match stream. your setup. They also have dedicated wallpapers for Crimson. your browser and enable or disable them right from the sidebar. You can even I change the keyboard and tab sounds, which I have never seen before. In the GX store, there's a ton of mods to explore. There were a lot of videos that were saying how all of this is, like, how, of how bad Opera GX actually still is. But I, I don't remember all that shit, so to me it's, it's, it's whatever. I use Chrome mainly and Firefox for streaming. To me it doesn't matter. I don't need all that extra fancy shit of limiting my RAM and all that. It's, if you like that, go for it. If you don't whatever to me you know so what i actually find super helpful is the gx control feature i run like 25 tabs at a time for writing scripts doing research handling all the boring youtube stuff so if i want to take a break and hop on apex gx control enhances performance when gaming even with your browser open the panel lets they you set limits on the amount True. of cpu yep, exactly. and ram your they browser all spy uses on us. and if you want to make the switch it's them. really easy because opera gx has an import tool that allows you to import all Mainly because it makes it easy to see who's streaming without opening the tab. That's true. That is true. That one, that feature is pretty good. That you can have that sidebar there. That is true. All your settings from your previous browser. You just go to browser settings, synchronization, import bookmarks and settings. The then game corner is nice on your game. Use my yes. link below to fair, download fair, Opera fair, GX fair, today. Fair. And a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Unlike other TikTok challenges that only affected the person doing it, this trend made the general public un- the He peeled off the plastic! This guy peeled off the plastic chat! TikTok challenges that only affected the person Look at doing this. it, this trend made the general public What the fuck?! Uncomfortable. I can never be at peace by a guy- But you know what? You know what? Because he peeled up the plastic, and if he did put it back, at least people would know 
something's wrong with it. At least, you know, at least what that. That's <laughs> how I feel. This is why I don't have faith in humanity anymore. As more Literally. videos popped up on the internet, people got really worried. Social media users called for stricter punishments and more security in stores to stop the trend. Photographs of locked ice cream freezers at grocery stores circulated on social wow. media. A Walmart in Texas even hired a guard to watch over the picture i love that media a walmart in texas even high bro he's got the water gun he's ready he's locked the fuck in chat i trust him i trust him with my ice cream i'll tell you what <laughs> i trust him with my ice cream hired a guard to watch over their ice cream freezer they're wasting their time having to guard ice cream when they could be like doing so much more for the community. But while stores were busy protecting ice cream, the challenge spread to other products. On July 3rd, a different kind no. of ice cream Mouth challenge began. This Mafwa challenge! Okay! This time, it didn't involve ice cream. In a video posted on Twitter, but someone switched. He's telling me they're not spitting back into it. I don't know how Listerine is in other countries here. You had to go really out of the way to open it in the store. You can't just screw open the, the top lid here. There's like plastic protection. Just mouthwash, spat it back into the bottle and put it back on a store shelf. Within 48 hours, the post got over 14 million views. When the mouthwash Bro. video went viral, the cops realized they needed to act fast to stop this trend before it affected even more products. They had to start Bro. arresting people. Over the next Yep, they did. Because people kept getting away with weeks, shit. The authorities tracked down Good. and arrested several TikTokers Good. for tampering and criminal mischief. And it Good. was easy because they recorded themselves committing... Literally, they... <laughs> they recorded themselves committing crimes, put it on the internet, and thought they could get away with shit. The crime. The things people do for fame. One of the culprits, D. Adrian Anderson, was sentenced to 30 days in jail and two years Only. probation. What was ironic about D. Adrian's situation was that he actually even purchased the ice cream he tampered with. He even had He even purchased this, like, good on him for purchasing it. Good on him for purchasing it. I guess 30 days is okay then. I, I guess that's okay then. 30 days is, I would say 30 days for if he purchased it is okay, but he should still be punished for putting that, that shit, like spreading shit like this. Had the receipt to prove it, but that excuse couldn't save him from going to jail. He got That's charged probably why he only got 30 days. Yeah, I, I guess so too. had to replace all their ice cream. Eventually, TikTok and other social media platforms started taking down videos of people participating Good. in this disgusting Good. Trend. And the challenge. Good, took them long enough though. They should have handled this faster. Away. While this trend but costs good thousands in property loss, this next one plays with your mind. Also the fact that, like I didn't even talk about the fact that, that they had to throw away all of that ice cream. Bro, such a fucking waste of literal like product. Like it's not just, oh it's just ice cream, but there's milk and ice cream. There's like literally an animal my animal product in it. Milk has gone to waste because of this, man. Like, bro. The orange peel test. Orange peel test. TikTok has many relationship challenges. However, one of the most controversial is known as the orange peel theory. The orange peel okay. theory test involves uh, women asking their men for an orange. And in order okay. to pass the test. Oh, the no. Oh, no. I, I think I've seen this one. I think I've seen this one. And must peel the orange before handing it back to her. In another version of the test, women ask their man to peel an orange for them and watch how they respond. If the guy peels the orange, it means he's willing to perform a tiny acts of service, which is a sign that he truly loves his woman. <laughs> this is so cringe, bro. Like, if you want your partner to peel the orange for you, just ask them! I apologize for my um, outburst. I apologize. But fucking ask them! But in case the partner refuses, it means that the relationship is doomed because he doesn't doomed. care about her. <laughs> she doesn't care about you because he gave you an orange or told you to get an orange yourself? 
All right, so I get the whole love language thing, right? But the thing is they take one act and they make it define the entire relationship. A few weeks after this trend began, a TikToker revealed that her ex broke up with her over the orange peel theory. Good. She told her boyfriend about the orange peel test and he thought it was a dumb way to assess a relationship. It is. He disagreed. Good on him. I'm so happy for him. I am so happy for him that she showed her true colors. Good on him. Good on him! It led to a big fight and he ended things with Based. her. However, yes. she wasn't heartbroken. Based. In a video posted on TikTok, she said, I would like someone who wants to peel an orange for me. I wouldn't ask you to. I'd just like to know that you would. Is that too much to ask? Her video yes. shocked. Yes. Because it's... Oh my god. Viewers making oh them wonder god. how something as trivial my as woman like this, I don't could end know. a relationship. But she wasn't the know. only one whose relationship ended because of this test. Another woman on Reddit, a 22 year old, was so disappointed that her boyfriend failed. Am I the ass? Oh, H for our soul, okay. Usually it's just A I T A, not A I T A H. Thanks for the follow, J Soul. Failed Thank you. the orange peel test that she broke up with him. She was at home with her boyfriend when she saw the theory on TikTok and decided she to try it out. Them. But she didn't have an orange, so she asked her boyfriend to tie her hair for her. Tying her hair was supposed to resemble the act of peeling huh? an orange. She described huh? his response in her Reddit post. I asked him to tie my hair up for me, and he looked at me and asked me why I couldn't do it. I asked him again, thinking it was just a fluke, but he told me I could do it since I was in the kitchen and he needed to relax, stating that he just got off work after he refused the but honestly honestly if <laughs> she's in the kitchen he's not even next to her and she wants him to move over to him Bruh, well, it dodged in Lady fact, decided yes. decided to break up with him because he failed the test. When she shared her story online, many people criticized her for throwing away her relationship because of a trend. She defended herself saying, I didn't mean to make it seem like I was testing him like a crazy you girl. Wear, though. Sets you wear, though. That's not what you did. Failure. I simply used the theory to see what he would do and came to the realization that I was giving 90% and he was giving 30%. He came off of work, by the way. He just came off of work, by the way. He just came off of work, by the way. The relationship. As more women tried the test, he just came off of, of work, by the way. Or not peeling oranges for their partners got millions of views. I really want an orange, but like I don't want to peel it for myself, you know. I really want it, but like I hate. Peeling. Like. This way, if you do it like this, yo, I take. Tick underscore fox underscore twenty six thousand seven hundred and ten just subscribed for one month. Yo, thank you for the tier three. Holy shit, that's crazy. That is crazy. Thank you. Are you on Discord? I need to give you the um, like the little picture. Like the little sign picture. I gotta sign a picture with your name on it for the tier threes. Like, message me on Discord. Go ahead and do her. You're not gonna peel it for me. Do we have any? Yeah. Like, if the girl says here, like if the girl here says, like I can't really peel the orange. Can you peel it for me? And if he's going to peel it. Then that's fine. Are there, there's pictures for T3? Yeah, like an uh, assigned uh, artwork. Assigned artwork. Do you like orange? I really want it, but like I hate peeling it. Tough yeah. luck, buddy. Go ahead and do her. Not... <laughs> Tough luck. Tough luck. <laughs> want it, but like I hate peeling it. Yeah. Tough luck, buddy. Go ahead and do her. You're not gonna peel it for me. Do we have any? That's so funny. What are you doing? Feeling it for you. Ow. Okay. The way this Was she about to cry? Feeling it for you. Ow. Okay. Oh my god, she's about to cry. <laughs> like, on one hand, on one hand, it's really cute if they do do it, but it's not bad if they don't, you know? It's not bad if they don't. It's cute if they do. 
it's not bad if they don't. <laughs> Bruh! The way this trend started was Bruh! interesting. A TikTok video showed an iMessage Bruh! chat between exes who were reminiscing about their past. I miss when you would peel my oranges for me in the morning, the first message said. Did you learn how to do it yet? The ex replied, <laughs> no, I still get juice all over and stab my nails too deep. The messages the went viral on TikTok with people saying out how some thankful they were for having someone who still peels their oranges. TikTokers cringe. were taking this Fucking way cringe. too seriously. A relationship expert warned against the viral test, saying an entire intimate relationship can can't be boiled down to what a person that does is... or doesn't do with an or Literally, what the fuck, man? I would honestly eat the orange myself if someone asked me to peel something. Bro, if... Someone asks you kindly to peel an orange for you, I think there is no issue with that if you do peel the orange. But it shouldn't define a relationship. It doesn't define a fucking relationship. If you have issues peeling an orange and someone does it better, there's absolutely no issue with asking someone for help. It's not... It's not about that. If you... <laughs> you'll peel the orange, you'll eat the skin. <laughs> Just bite into the orange. <laughs> bite into the orange as it is, man. <laughs> orange and i obviously agree now this next trend was just straight up disrespect the dancing on graves trend in no. february of 2021 youtuber pegasus saw a tiktok challenge that made him so mad he created no. an eight minute youtube video to rant about it take off those sunglasses because you don't even deserve the shade bro you ain't cool you ain't got swag i don't know when you'll realize what you're doing is wrong and it's not funny at all the challenge was officially called dancing on graves tiktokers would visit graveyards and film themselves dancing on top of or next to random people's gravestones some videos show teenagers doing choreographed routines while others just dance to pop music no one knows who started the trend, Why? but it quickly spread as more TikTokers started doing it too. Most Why? Why? Bro. People who watched Pegasus's video were just as annoyed as he was. They left comments like, I feel embarrassed to be part of this generation. I hope they go to bed every night cringing at what they did. Imagine being at a funeral, mourning the loss of a loved one, and then out of nowhere, a teenager starts doing the orange joke. just on random people it's just on random people's graves it's it's not even on on, the, on a relative or on someone they hated it's just on someone on some random person's grave man Justice. the disrespect and guess what? man adults were doing it too in one video three people including one adult danced at a cemetery this looks fake Chat, I'm not going to lie, this video right here, this one looks fabricated. Like, let me make myself small and go back. Like, this one looks- no, 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 this one looks fake. Like, on the stone, that's what I mean, look at it. No, 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 look at it. Doing it too. In one video, three people, including one adult- It looks- The people look a little bit out of place, if you really look at it. If you really do look at it, they do feel so a little bit out of place. So, we have what I assume is a mom and her two kids. Mom- I- I think- this they just put themselves dancing onto it green screen basically yeah but still but still it's still a bad it still is a bad thing and disrespectful like don't get me wrong it's just a tiny bit less disrespectful because they didn't actually do it even if it's a green screen what the fuck yeah that, that's that's what i mean she still shouldn't do it yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like Thankfully, they didn't actually disrespect the people that are resting there, but 
The message is still wrong. Tim is all dressed up, you know, boogieing on the tombstone, doing the Fortnite boogie down challenge. There were many more videos of adults participating in this trend. People were pissed, but the trend kept going. A TikToker named Ben danced and sang on a grave implied to what belong is the point? to the yeah. 36... The point is going viral, getting the internet fame. I need to be on the TikTok. The president of the United States. The name on the tombstone was Johnson. Most viewers seeing the name assumed it was Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th president of the United States. Oh. And Ben's videos reached more than 9 million. No way he danced on a past president's grave. No Billion way. views on TikTok, except it wasn't the former president. Ben okay. just found a headstone marked as Johnson and saw his opportunity for low-level internet fame. It's um, actually illegal mm. in most places. YouTubers and social media influencers continue to speak out against the TikTok yikes. trend that TikTok started removing yikes, these man. videos and the trend and... Probably took a little long. I... I... What I want to know is how long it takes TikTok to, like... Um, and these to shut them yeah. down. Now, with this next trend, that's we're going what back I want to know. More property damage. The devious oh, no. licks trend. More licking. On September first, two thousand twenty-one, a strange. September first, two thousand twenty-one. Pandemic. Oh shit! I should have said that word. YouTube is not gonna like that. Boo hoo video appeared on TikTok. It showed a teen stealing disposable masks from school. The video Letters, went viral masks. quickly, gaining over 200,000 views in one week. The boy was excited about the success of his video. Little did he know it would trigger one of the worst trends on TikTok. When people watched the video of this kid stealing disposable masks, it inspired others to steal things from their schools. These young, immature, impressionable kids are falling for these selfish no. trends. This TikTok trend trend is called Devious Licks. It involves students stealing school property and posting videos of it. It was called Devious Licks because according to my favorite dictionary, Urban Dictionary, a lick mm -hmm. is a successful type of theft. Just I did not even know that. I did not even know that, so it didn't actually have any licking involved. Six days later, another Devious Lick video appeared online. On September 6th, 2021, a TikToker shared a video with the text, only a month into school and got this absolute devious lick. In the video, he unzipped his backpack and showed a hand sanitizer dispenser from his school. Why? Why? Why are teenagers filming themselves stealing shit, man? Bro! And why is he like... Stealing an entire fucking box. What is he gonna do with that? What is he gonna do with that? This was only the second devious lick video, but it quickly went viral on TikTok, getting over 7 million views in two days. The trend gained more momentum over the next week as young TikTokers began posting similar videos showing off items they allegedly stole from school. And these kids are apparently stealing anything, even. An entire water fountain. An entire water fountain. Greebo Gobop just cheered 100 bits. Thank you! When this was a trend, someone stole a whole ass toilet from my high school. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? That is so stupid. I fucking can't. <laughs> In a way, it kind of is funny, man. In a way, it is funny. Like, the whole toilet. That, like, no, like, no, stop them. Like, how? How does this happen? Fully porcelain to the thing weighed like 130 pounds. How? <laughs> Oh my god, I once took a principal's laptop and planted it in the bag of a teacher. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's so bad. A lot of us did our own stupid things while growing up. That is true. That is true. But have your whole soul in an entire fucking toilet seat?
<laughs> have you done that kind of stupid shit and then filmed it to get the internet fame? <laughs> So, oh my god, how stupid is this? Nintari just cheered 100 bits. <laughs> Thank it you. is not only challenges. Worked at a hotel years ago. Mm -hmm. Stealing shampoo bottles and towels is one thing. Yeah, but that's you normal. know the big hair dryer <laughs> screwed to the wall? Yeah. Someone stole one of those and no one knew how. <laughs> what? Plant that into your own home because ain't no fucking way you you're selling this to anyone, right? Like, oh my god, oh my god! Entire uh, water fountains. Trent's been expelled from school for riding his scooter after hours and stealing a handicapped parking sign from the school. From okay, soap that's dispensers bad. and fire that is so extinguishers bad. to computers and film projectors, nothing was too big or too small to be stolen. In British Columbia, 42 soap dispensers were ripped out from school bathrooms within a week. One video oh even God. showed a student stealing a classmate's pants while he was in the bathroom stall. School pre uh Pants. He saw the fucking pants. Oh my god. Who buys these stolen goods anyway? Okay. My theory is why people have gotten away with this for that much <laughs> and for that amount of stealing items is because people are fucking. <laughs> Like, teachers in a fucking America are underpaid as fuck, bro. They probably see it and are like, I don't get paid enough for this, you know? that That's my guess. Like, that is 100% my guess. Like, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> like, I, I can't blame the teachers. I can't blame the teachers for, like, not doing anything about that. In America, they really do underpay teachers. Like, bro, slough, leave markets. That is true. Principles like <laughs> Across the country, beg students to stop stealing threatening disciplinary action. Yes, the kid who, whose pants are stolen. Like, that is just why. That one is just so fucking stupid. That is no. Not quite, but also true. Police just don't go out for goods stolen below a certain amount of value. Yeah, I guess uh, uh, that's as well. Mm -mm. For context, I was told that I acted too much for my age by my teach friends and even family. I don't know if that's a fact on why I didn't do dumb things, but I don't know. It could be that I was boring. Nah, I don't know. The ad revenue buys so People don't sell them. They do it for attention, hoping it to go viral. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I, 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 I guess it's mainly that. I guess it's mainly just to go viral. When that didn't work, they resorted to more drastic measures. Since most of the items were stolen from bathrooms, schools across the country started temporarily closing restrooms. The oh, that's bad. The escalated even more from that's stealing bad. to vandalism. Some schools reported their toilets being sprayed with red food coloring. In Ontario, a bathroom had all its urinals and toilets clogged with enormous amounts of toilet paper. What it's the so fuck? It's so sad. I just don't understand why these children are turning to that kind of vandalism. That's to disgusting. Themselves. Police across the U.S. began arresting and charging students. On Good. September 16th, TikTok Good. banned the devious licks trend. But this dark story has a happy ending. As mm -hmm. the devious licks trend ended, a new trend started where students filmed themselves giving back. It was called the oh. angelic yield trend. It began on September 17th when a TikToker made a video showing them going into their school bathroom and putting a roll of toilet paper <laughs> on the toilet. The on-screen text read, I just hit the most angelic yield, while the video caption said, Damn. no more devious licks around here. The video gained over 4 million views <laughs> in three days. And in That's... 
is kind of funny, wholesome in a sense, but <laughs> god damn. We need more wholesome trends. We need more wholesome Inspired trends, man. Hundreds of young people to anonymously donate to their schools. We need Finally, more wholesome a trend trends. That I can get behind. They'll leave like scented hand soap on the sinks in the bathrooms. Or like they'll put uh, toilet paper. Stuff like that. Some girls put inspirational quotes on the doors and walls and placed emergency kits in the bathrooms with sanitary items. This was oh, a remarkable turnaround. The angelic yield trend was a sign of hope for our new generation. So this next trend that's I first great. That actually is great. Although slightly slight shimmer of hope right there. It's just a slight shimmer of hope. It's like putting a flower on a random grave in this case. Yeah, kind of. I personally hate a lot because it has to do with shaping our culture. Ix, have you ever been really- Here we go. Here it is, Chad. We have talked Into about someone Ix. And then they do something that makes you instantly lose interest oh, in them. No. That, my friends, is called an ick. Oh, an ick is no. a feeling you get when something about the person you're dating suddenly turns you off. It's when attraction uh, no. turns into disgust. Anything can cause an ick, like using the wrong emoji in a text or being rude to a waiter. And TikTokers took it to a whole new level by starting a trend around it. The ick trend. The Oh, the ick it began list. when a few TikTok users posted videos listing the little things that annoyed them about others. When he takes a nap, it irrationally annoys me. Um, I don't like friendly guys. If I see him friendly with other people, that's a big ick. The trend. I. Bro. Bro. Oh my god. I have... I have so much hatred. <laughs> I have so much hatred for these women. Spread rapidly with people from all over the world posting their own icks. If you get out of the car and I can see even a centimeter of your butt crack, you're getting ghosted immediately. One of them is when a guy... Tra the entitlement. Trauma dumps on you for two hours. Trauma dump? What the hell does that mean? It's when a guy tells you all of his problems. Once again. So there's a difference between trauma dumping and just a guy talking about his feelings. There is a tiny, 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 tiny difference. And if you can't differentiate it between that, you don't deserve no fucking partner. Bitch. And people are taking this too far. So one TikTok account took it upon himself to compile an insane list of the the egg list! We've, we've looked at the egg list. These women's dating eggs. There are 585 reasons that women apparently do not like you. So the thing. <laughs> you know, some of the best ones. He has a sister. He has a mother. He has a birthday. <laughs> he has a friend. He watches TV. He goes to work. He puts on. Socks the wrong way. He breathes. He sleeps. He exists. Thing <sighs> that's disgusting to me is the fact that you must. He has eyes. Yeah, he has the wrong eye color. Oh, <laughs> get over an ick, right? You have to get over an ick in order to have a. Oh, he's gotten sick. <laughs> yes, skin. Yes, he has. Facial hair because men don't actually have facial hair ever, right? Men aren't more um, likely to have facial hair, right? Good relationship, but the problem is it's tearing relationships apart because of a little, little thing that's so insignificant. You know what? If they get annoyed by something like that to the point that they cannot stand being with a person, their partner, the guys are better off without them. They are better off without them. The type of X TikTokers were listing showed just how petty and judge. This was definitely a part of the reason Catherine left that man. Judgmental society was becoming when he asks oh, a fuck. retailer for help and they don't hear him. Ha! When... Ha! <laughs> Someone else didn't hear him so. That's on him! And they push a pull door. <laughs> they push.
push a pull though, because no one has ever done that. And the roller coaster worker tightens his seatbelt thing. <laughs> that's just funny though. <laughs> Bro, that's a, just <laughs> Like, if I. Why is that an egg? It's just. That to me is just funny. Like, that might happen. Like, come on. Like, what the f? I would just die then, yeah, like, what do you mean? People who were <laughs> usually judgmental started to become judgmental because of this trend. Like, this girl who tweeted, TikTok has- Ariston underscore Nova just cheered 100 bits. Thank you. They have hair, have no hair, have common decency, yeah. make a small inconsequential mistake. Too negative, too positive. Too positive. I wish this would end. <laughs> They compliment you. They don't compliment you. They work. They provide for the family. They can cook. Made me realize oh. that icks are really a thing and I have many. Another person wanted icks to apply it to friendships too. Tweeting. <laughs> These people, to me, it's stay away, demon. I don't want any of these people anywhere near me. Stay away, demon. Stay away, demon. Demon can confirm friendship X are 1,000 Stay away, worse. demon. Everyone has things that turn them off, but we're human, right? We're not perfect, so you gotta look past Exactly. Them. This next trend also tears relationships apart, but in a more direct way. Oh, no. The cheating prank trend. Do this to someone. I, I've seen videos like that. I've seen videos like that. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was a trend. I, bro, why would you hurt your partner in that way? Why would you make them feel this way? My ex included in invading. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta have to delete that message. Dad, that, that's a no, no. Uh, that message is a no no. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, buddy, but we do gotta go by the TOS. 2001, <laughs> a new type of prank that was way more personal emerged the cheating prank. This prank but involves for the someone, bits. often a girlfriend, <laughs> tricking her partner into thinking she's cheating on him and then recording yeah, his these reaction. Videos. These videos quickly became popular. Also, like to me, like the craziest thing, like one of the craziest things, it's not the craziest thing, but a crazy thing. A crazy thing about this is that the guys instantly when most of the ones that were filmed and the ones that I've seen, that the guys instantly, instead of like blaming the girlfriend, went to fucking punch the supposed person she was cheating with. Instead of just going to the issue here, which is your partner. But no, gotta beat up the person she, uh, the the third party involved. Gotta 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 beat up the third party involved. You know. Ugh. Popular because of the intense reactions of the people being pranked. <gasps> In one viral video, a girl Awful. sent her boyfriend a text that suggested she was cheating on him. The message she sent to her boyfriend oh read, he's leaving now, you can come over. But her boyfriend... Why would you do that? Bro, you... You... Like... This is just so bad. Praying to it off from shock, maybe. Yeah, okay, that might be it. That that's why they instantly go to like that they rage out on that moment. That that might be right. Kids, can I go stab? I I do feel like we do need to stabby stab some people here, yeah, man. <laughs> I feel like we do need to stabby stab. I I I might need to retract my words on saying that I don't actually 
that I don't actually wish harm upon people. I might have to retract that. I might have to retract that statement. This unexpected reaction made the video <sighs> go viral, earning him the title of online legend. He raced back indoors and ran upstairs to their bedroom. The girl already had the camera set up. As soon as he entered, she said, I thought you were leaving. I was leaving until I saw your cheeky text message. What? Something about like coming over now. So, um, he's leaving now, you can come over. But instead of being mad Please or me jealous, he broke up. the boyfriend assigned a different meaning to the message. What? You probably like a belated birthday surprise for me or something. No. Oh, this. This. He's too good. He's too good. He's too good for her. He's too wholesome. My heart. Oh, buddy. He's, he's so innocent. Oh my god, poor baby. Trolling her right back, or is he serious? I think he's serious. No. Your You're birthday, grinning. Your birthday was over a month ago. Yeah, there's nothing too late to celebrate, is it? Even though she insisted that it wasn't true, her boyfriend was convinced that the text message meant she was organizing a surprise party for him. You guys think maybe he was just in denial? Maybe he was just in denial. Maybe he just didn't want to believe it. Maybe he was just high on the copium. Then he kissed her and headed back out the door. I know you're doing it again. I love you so much. Her boyfriend's response got a lot of likes and positive comments online. But more importantly, it made other girls wonder whether their boyfriends would react the same way. And the only way to know was to try the prank on them. There was an explosion of cheating. Cheating on girlfriend pack. Caught cheating prank on girlfriend. Cheating prank on my girlfriend. All these people don't deserve to be in a loving relationship. These people do not deserve to be in a loving relationship. They do not. They do not. Videos on TikTok and each of them were different in their own way. In one video, a guy was acting really shady, pretending to hide another girl in the closet. But when his girlfriend started- <laughs> Fucking cartoonish, man. Like, fuck- <laughs> This is so cartoonish. <laughs> Let me cheating on our girlfriends now? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Bro, play the Looney Tunes sound effect. He's acting really shady, pretending to hide another girl in the closet. Some of these are stage, yes. To get definitely, definitely. She did everything she could to ch Bro, she's like eight months pregnant! Bro! He, she's like eight months pregnant! You do not prank your eight months pregnant girlfriend! You do not prank your eight months oh, preg pr pregnant lady girlfriend, bro! Bro! Tech inside the closet. Sorry, well, fine, I guess, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Some of these videos aren't that bad, but do not, do not prank, do not, do, do not, do not enrage the pregnant ladies. Pregnant ladies, you don't want to mess with pregnant ladies. First of all, all the health reasons, right? First of all, all the health reasons. Second of all, hormones. Hormones and a, a, a in a pregnant lady. You don't wanna. You don't wanna deal with that. <laughs> you don't. You don't wanna deal with that beast. There were many other reactions that were dangerous. In one video, this boyfriend went straight for the punch. Dang! In another video, a boyfriend pulled out what looked like a pew pew. <laughs> you play too much, bro. This trend. Shit. This could have ended really badly. Chad, he was ready. Oh my god. Chad. Anyway, I started posting. At least he checked first. True. 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 At least he did check. God bless America. It caused permanent damage to some relationships, but in our next trend, it caused permanent damage to themselves. Are we at the teeth one now? The teeth filing challenge. 
There when someone is. starts a video with the words, I'm about I, to do I just... something dumb, you know what's coming next is not good. That's when a girl named Ashlyn said she filmed herself doing the teeth filing challenge. You should never, never do this on your own. Uh, Ooh, never do this on your own. Like, yes, I know dentists can file your teeth. Dentists can file your teeth, but dentists are trained professionals that know how to avoid nerves and shit. You do not. I don't know, Tim. Thank you. This was a bizarre trend where TikTokers posted videos of themselves using nail files to reshape or smoothen their teeth. They did this to make their teeth appear straighter or fix uneven edges. I'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they are not perfect. I have some ridges and so what? And we're falling on a budget. These videos went viral and Yikes. soon hundreds of people were doing it. So Ashlyn joined the trend. She set up her camera, grabbed her nail file, and after declaring she was about to do something dumb, went to work. And it obviously didn't end well. I originally oh used just a nail file and it wasn't working, so I moved to this. It was not painful when I did it, but as the days went on and I would drink cold drinks or ice cream, I felt a lot of sensitivity in my teeth. She exposed her nerves. Good job! Retard. Literally. That's... No brain. Retard. Ashlyn had dental problems after filing her teeth because, no surprise, it's one of the worst things you can do to your teeth. Well, when I saw these videos, I almost fell off my chair. The trend started around <laughs> June yeah. 2020 when a 19-year-old named Mia Doe posted a video of herself filing down her uneven teeth using a nail file. Her video was viewed over 400,000 times. She How stupid can you be, man? What a way to get rid of lots of money. What a way to fucking broadcast your stupidity. But you know what? Stupid things happen to stupid people. And you get what you deserve. And I do believe in a form of karma. They did this to themselves. They did this to themselves. I am glad that this didn't really hurt someone else in the process of making it. But it definitely spread to other stupid people. New trend filing down the cartilage in my spine to make my push up better. <laughs> no! I remember the ladies painting their teeth with toxic permanent paint. Oh god! She allegedly decided to file her teeth because dentist offices were closed during the pandemic so she figured she could fix her own teeth another tiktoker mm, admitted she shaved sure. her teeth because dental care is so expensive but it was gonna get a whole lot more expensive as a trend got more popular dentists made videos to warn people about the risks of med i'm really happy that dentists made videos about it and warned other people that this is like Bro, don't don't fucking deal with this. I'm I'm really happy to see it. Sing with their teeth. Dentist Todd Bertman calls the practice horrifying and says it does irreparable damage to your enamel. Your teeth are there not you go. like nails. They don't grow back. Yeah, they Filing grow. them down can remove the enamel, which is the hard protective outer layer. Without enamel, teeth can become sensitive and painful and more prone to decay and infection. You're gonna end up with sensitive teeth, pain and probably root canals as well. Many TikTokers mm. learned that lesson the hard mm. way. One user who filed her teeth was in so much pain that she had to take painkillers every two hours. It was so oh bad my God. that her dentist told her that she filed into her nerve and would need a root of canal. Of course. It eventually took two procedures to fix the problem. Others of who course. tried the challenge posted follow-up videos showing that they regret their actions. Oh my God, the foot binding. Oh my God. Modern version of foot binding, I guess people have been stupid for that is true you're making a good point there man foot binding is horrifying when i learned about that being actually a practice bro some of these feet are literally folded fucking 180 degrees like if you don't know what foot binding is it, like it's literally like making the toes like 
more attached to each other and sometimes even so bad that they're literally folded 180 degrees on top of each other. What? Yes. Nintari just cheered 100 bits. Back in certain times those people were the first to be eaten by a predator or stomped yep. to death by a mammoth. Yep. Today we have to drag Natural those selection. intellectual ricochets along with us. Yep. Natural selection. The next stretching uh, ring foot binding etc. People do stupid stuff. Yep. People have always been doing stupid stuff. Very true. Very, very, very true. Person summarized their experience with this tweet. Whatever you do, don't do this. I only did because I'm stupid and was curious. Even Ashlyn joined forces speaking against the trend, saying it's not worth the trouble. Another terrible dental trend was when people glued fake vampire fangs to their teeth using no. nail glue or super glue. Another one involved TikTok. No. Wow, super can you be, applying man. bleach directly to their teeth to make them whiter. No! Bro. Why? And lastly, a TikToker who closed the gaps between his front teeth using rubber bands. TikTok so is dumb. the worst so place dumb. to get dental advice, unless of course you're a dentist. My friends, out of all the trends so far, this next one is the worst. The Kia Challenge. Oh. In 2022... Oh, here it is. Here, the Kia Challenge. Here it is. You guys mentioned the Kia Challenge earlier. People across America were complaining on social media about their Kia and Hyundai cars being broken into or stolen however they weren't just blaming okay. the thieves they were blaming tiktok but why well, yeah, the answer is because in this tiktok Facebook is spreading out from one of the victims on july 25th brian adderd wrote the whole world is nuts i got a call from my daughter someone tried to steal her kia soul last night smashed the window and but there's why? ignition wires all over the place then he explained why tiktok was to blame saying the sick part is this model kia is part of a tiktok challenge with it's instructions on how to steal this car using a usb cable no, no fucking way. and the ignition switch they failed but oh the damage my is God. done the Kia challenge is definitely one of the most disturbing trends ever seen on tiktok it began in july 2022 when a tiktoker at robbie ray posted a video of himself hot wiring a car people were shocked at how simple the process was robbie ray may have posted the video for educational purposes but what most people saw was a tutorial on how to steal a car Oh my god. TikTok. <laughs> it's just. TikTok is just a mistake, man. On one hand, I'm like glad that it like is a, a gather point for all these stupid people to keep them away from me because I rarely ever use uh, TikTok. On the other hand, it's so much stupidity and so much damage to other people, too, man. Oh my god. After about two weeks, TikTok realized the danger of the video and took it down. But it was too late. After how much time? But what most people saw was a tutorial on how to steal a car. After about two weeks, TikTok two realized weeks. the danger two weeks. of the video and took it Great. down. But it was too Way late. Way too long. Thousands of people had Way seen too long. how to hotwire a car and they wanted to try it out. The key challenge took off. This challenge involved participants recording themselves breaking into cars, hot wiring them, and sometimes driving them away. Most of the cars that were broken into were Kias, hence the name of the challenge. A woman yeah. in Highland Park found out the hard way recently, just a few days ago in broad daylight. Her 2017 Hyundai was stolen where it was parked outside her second job. Ten Awful. Awful. When you post something for educational purposes, especially something that can be used to do thefts, you want to skip some crucial steps in the video. Yes. That's... Yes. 100%. Yes. If you post something for educational purposes, you don't display how to actually do it. You do not display on how to actually do it. And if you want to warn Kia about this, you go and contact Kia. Tens of thousands of Kias and Hyundais were stolen. People's cars were stolen twice in one day. Theft. 
What? Kia and Hyundai cars rose by 767% in the Chicago area and in New York, thefts increased by nearly 2,400%. The topic what? even made it into songs with rappers bragging about stealing Kia. If I see a Kia, then I'm taking you. Okay, man. But obviously, this came with consequences. Locally, Arlington police say they've made several arrests and stress auto theft in Texas is a felony, which many young people well, yeah. might not realize. <laughs> Who would have... <laughs> Many people might not realize. Auto theft in Texas is a felony, which many young people might not realize. <gasps> There's so much thing wrong with this. Why do people not realize this? Play GTA. Clearly, stealing is not wrong. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, Grand Theft Auto is considered theft. Huh? Yeah, it was weird. Car theft is illegal. What? Can't even steal a car anymore. I thought this was America. <laughs> and what's sadder is what this does to the victims. Someone tweeted, having your own car broken into, then you factor in inflation, living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Some people yeah. can't afford repairs. I remember a while yeah. back, someone broke into my car in our driveway and the repair cost about like $2,000 or something. Fucking Christ, man. That... That is not a small amount of money. That is so much money. That is so much money. Oh my god. A lot of people don't even make this in a few months. A lot of people are below minimum wage. Like, bro. And I was a broke college student. It was way too expensive. Another wrote, this trend absolutely makes me feel disgusted. It's really beyond me that people yeah. think it's okay to post criminal yeah. acts, let alone just participate in them after seeing them online. It's super frustrating, it sounds like. Now I have to be careful where I park and pay attention. Yep. And it's going to change where it will probably take my wife's car. And but it was about to get worse for the victims because some insurance companies refused to cover certain Kia and Hyundai models because of the high risk of theft. Are you for fucking real? Are you for fucking real? Oh my god. Yeah, insurance companies. Uh, the real thefts of uh, fucking modern days, man. Bro, the fucking real criminals. The real criminals of m modern Every day. Every car owners eventually sued Kia and Hyundai, arguing that the companies didn't install anti-theft devices in their cars, making them easier to steal. The lawsuit was settled for $200 million. And after Good. intense pressure, TikTok shut down the Kia challenge. Social media Too trends long again, can be probably. Fun. The internet gives us the ability to connect with one another. But my challenge for you is to not let it disconnect us from our humanity. Visual Venture. Great video. Wait, great don't video. Go yet. Please, before you go, this is my right? yeah, just subscribe business. here and then click subscribe this playlist to, him if to you watch more dark already. internet documentaries because our we goal is 700,000 subscribers we at watched. the end of 2024, and we're literally. He's already there. He's already there. Really, like almost there. I'm, like we're gonna He's hit. He's there. Him. And yep, thank he you did. Guys. Mintari Huge. just cheered 100 uh, bits. Huge. Remember, Mister so Bin taking very, out the steering funny. wheel of his car when he parked it. Dude was onto something and knew the hacks. <laughs> he actually was onto something, Mr. Bean man. Mr. Bean was onto something. Watch. Peace. <laughs> bye, YouTube. I go EP now. Bye, kids. Bye, check. Bye, bye. Bye, YouTube as well. Yeah. Like, YouTube, don't do this shit. This, this shit is bad, YouTube. Do not do, not do the theft. <laughs> theft is illegal. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? <laughs> Theft being illegal, that's... <laughs> that's news to me, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what.